Hello viewers, today I present you John Bedini battery charger. So this is one very very common um, uh, patent for producing of free energy and you have many many uh, videos online but not to waste time let's get to the drawings and see what I prepared for you. Okay, let's start describing the patent. So you can see this is the very very precise the remodeling of the original John Bedini patent of the, his battery charger. So let's start from the beginning and see how it really works. Okay, you can see that we have one big flywheel, this red part over here. And on this flywheel there are total three magnets. Yeah? Beneath the flywheel you can see there is a th set of three coils. So we have the primary coil which is the uh, in the middle. We have the trigger coil which is uh, here in front. And we have the uh, last coil, so secondary coil which is uh, behind. Yeah? So this is the uh, last coil. Yeah? So let's, let's describe how this works. You can see that we also have some drive pulley. Yeah? So there is a transmission from the, from the flywheel to the to this second component, you can see over here where this is a, let's say, br brush contact, yeah? so which transmits then the power in the capacitor and the secondary battery. So how it really works? So so we have for uh, for this to work, we need to have uh, the battery. Yeah? So so we are charging uh, the system with the current from primary battery, and then we have the recovery battery, uh, which is recharged through the system. Primary battery uh, is uh, it's contacted by this reed switch. You see this transparent over here? Yeah? So, I, I, so this is the magnetic reed switch. Yeah? I will select it right now. Yeah? So this is the ma magnetic reed switch. When the current current passes through the through the conductor, it closes. Yeah? The contact. The magnetic reed switch can also be um, activated by the magnet. So if if this switch here is positioned closely to the magnet, yeah, then it would be activated when the magnet passes near this switch. So you can now imagine how this actually works. Yeah? So when we uh, let the current through the magnetic reed switch, yeah, then basically this is the motor. Yeah? So this flywheel is the usual motor. Yeah? So we are, we are um, moving the, the, the flywheel by letting the current into the secondary, uh, into the primary coil. Eh? Then we have uh, uh, this small box over here, this uh, brown box, it's a circuitry. Inside we have some transistor, we have some diodes, yeah? so which, uh, which by trigger coil yeah, send also the power into the system. Yeah? So this, this is how it's connected to the, uh, the trigger coil. Yeah? And inside of this uh, gray box, there is uh, some circuitry, yeah. and then that's it. Yeah. So when uh, when this flywheel spins, we induce the voltage in the second or, or, or the third coil. Yeah. So this from behind. So we induce the current in this coil, which is transmitted then to the second uh, to the full bridge rectifier, yeah, which is in this side box here. Yeah. So four diodes. Yeah. This is the full wave uh, AC to DC. Uh, Rectif current rectification and then by a means of uh, this drive poly yeah so this these two things here uh, each revolution we get the contact on this uh, brushes yeah and uh, we get the current to high voltage capacitor over here and it's transmitted to the secondary battery over here and that's it yeah? that's the whole uh, uh, John Bedini battery charger yeah okay that's it. That's the that's the John Bedini battery charger with its flywheel, with its gear, and its primary and secondary battery, and the follow and the necessary circuitry for this to work. This is it. This is the John Bedini uh, battery charger. I hope you enjoy it. I'll try to make more of these uh, videos in future. I'm actually proud of Bedini because it's. Uh, it's very closely uh, replicated based on the patent, I will put it in the description. And that's it, until next video, just wait on my channel.